So hello everyone. In this video, we will see how we can cover the MPMC, and this is the part module one of this MPMC guidance series. So uh, for the newcomers, uh, just let me brief this series that we will be covering the guidance needed for MPMC. Uh, how I uh, came back from this situation of getting a back to getting a B grade. That is a huge jump of this thing, which I gained from this period of time to this period of time. So yeah, so let's uh, start the module one. Okay, so uh, for the newcomers, I won't be exactly teaching it, but I will be guiding you how to cover this uh, as a brother uh, who will be guiding you who have already experienced this difficulties in things. Okay, so in module one, the thing is that uh, it is just the introduction. Introduction of what the microprocessor. And as discussed, we need to three. Uh, we need to study three microprocessors, which is 8086, 8051. Actually, it is a microcontroller, but you can say a processor. Okay. So, so three processor. So 8086, 8051, and then ARM. Okay. Oh, uh, so here we will uh, see the introduction of the whole processor thing. What is a processor? Okay. So uh, here, uh, module one is just uh, weighted or uh, ten marks. In fact, or uh, like maximum ten marks, it usually between ten to five marks. Okay. Uh, so as you can see, uh, five marks. Okay, five to ten marks. And uh, what is important here is that you get to understand why you are studying microprocessor. Okay. Why are you even looking at this subject okay so the very basic need which made me comfortable with this subject is that this is just the very beginning of your understanding of this processor of like intel core i5 i6 uh, i9 and all those things okay so these are the very basic versions like 8 bit 6 bits of microprocessor, the latter given into something better, 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 and finally we have i9 and all those stuffs which are go, uh, being used in 2024. Okay, that is your latest one. Okay, so the thing is that you need to focus here on why we are studying the subject and what are the basic uh, just terminologies used here, like bits uh, and all those stuff which I will be guiding you. And uh, in the for the exam point of view. You can expect for CAT, you will be getting 10 mark question out of these three questions only. 95% uh, time, only three, these three questions will be asked. Uh, this is my experience by solving multiple PYs. And not of only CAT, CAT1, but FAT, and all other. So, okay, like for this model, is coming under CAT and FAT, right? so that is why I said you CAT and FAT. Okay, so prepare this question for exam point of view and for understanding point of view, as I said, MPMC needs very based uh, core understanding in theory and coding and everything. So yeah, your aim will be uh, understand why we're in studying processor and how it is linking back to DHD. Like DHD we studied gates, uh, which resulted into uh, other uh, like other things like flip flops and all those stuff. Then we uh, also studied transistors and these processors. These processors are made of transistors. So we are, you can say, we are studying in depth the processor which are made of a lot of transistors. And latest uh, um, processors are uh, getting uh, less in size and more in number of transistors, hence getting more efficient. Okay. So I said you the exam point of view. These are the Denmark questions, and then, and here I said oh, what you need to focus on. And let's see uh, how you can. Or get started with this model and achieve your goals, which I what I said. And here, uh, as I already said about the strategy, you have to refer multiple resources. None of the one playlist could solve your problem. Okay, this is the key. So I will be guiding go how you will be doing. So since this is the introduction of microprocessor, so let's. Go and search microprocessor, and here 
uh, I've filtered all the playlists because I don't want single random video. I want a set of videos like a person who is dedicated to uh, let me know his whole mindset about that uh, processor and whole understanding rather than single isolated video. Okay, so yeah, uh, what I recommend is yeah, Gates Master Sir is very 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 great teacher. But thing is that in his playlist it is not complete, so it won't be giving a continuation of his knowledge in uh, lots of the uh, MPMC like this ARM and H two five and all those stuff. But yeah, I do recommend if you are uh, you are studying in majorly Hindi lectures, so you better start with this. Uh, do continuation till some of the video. Okay. So yeah, uh, don't go with uh, the resources I have attached here only because there are a lot of resources I, I, I followed to get this 150 hour mark, which I said, which I said it. Okay, so yeah, you have to refer multiple resources and not only this uh, this written, but yeah, for Hindi, you can say this is the best thing. And for rest of the thing, I recommend this playlist and this playlist yeah just to wrap around your mind uh, uh, among various playlists and get the understanding okay and wait 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 uh, this is little bit of part of moving from module one that is introduction wait uh, introduction to here uh, let me first cover the module one first so yeah for module one, you can um, go to your send your whole play, uh, whole resource thing and uh, send your whole resource thing, which I will inform you once again. Like you can get all the PPTs of all the subject of all the regions, uh, which is maybe Ashish media. And so, yeah, uh, in that, in module one, I opened this PPT and yeah. Uh, basically, you need to cover this PPT only. And then you need to answer these questions for your fact exam. Uh, sorry, uh, like questions for probable question which will be asked. Like for exam point of view and for understanding point of view, you have to uh, go refer multiple resources as I said and uh, get the understanding. Okay. So for, for the basic understanding which helped me uh, why we're learning microprocessor, I told you that this is a continuation like we are uh, uh, studying a lot of uh, combination of transistors, which is a, uh, which is in total doing a processing thing, which is taking uh, input and giving out. Okay, this is the basic. Thing. Okay, and uh, and more feeling you can get, but is that this is a basic version of your whatever processor you are using in a laptop, like i uh, i five i nine and all those seven i seven. Okay. So yeah, a microprocessor definition, and yeah, uh, this microprocessor is programmable, clock-driven, all those properties. Just get around those uh, terminologies, uh, chat GPT, and all those stuff, and uh, get to understand the basic idea of processor. Okay. Uh, then mm, important features, get around those features, know and uh, know the, um, about those features from various videos, but don't just duck around this because you will be getting mm, to know better this feature when you will actually use it. And this page, this temperature monitoring system, or better, uh, this is out of syllabus as of now, so don't study that. Then evolution, yeah, as I said, evolution, this is uh, first created as 4 bit, then 8 bit, and 16, 32, 64, then the latest are your uh, i7, i9, all those processes. Basically, you need to cover this PPT for your model. That's it. Okay. And uh, See the syllabus. Now let's see the questions. So this question uh, is is from model one plus model three, which says the difference between two type of processor that is microprocessor and microcontroller. Okay. And there is difference between eight bit and sixteen bit processor, which is actually eight zero eight five and eight zero eight six. This is just the difference. And you don't have to study in detail about this 8085. Okay. And there is the difference between risk and CISC as well. Uh, like few of the classes have covered that in that in that PPT. It is not in the this PPT. So yeah, by this uh, you get covered 
and prepared for your exam. And let's see the syllabus once again. So one question from here as I discussed, and this difference and this difference, second question and evolution, all these are just to understand and get the feel and not for examination purpose. So this in this way, a model one is done. Okay. So in next part of the video, we will discuss how you can cover model two. By the way, we have uh, got an idea like, like which place is refer for model two as well. But yeah, we'll cover in detail or what you need to do exactly. Okay. So this is done as of now. We'll cover this guidance for this part in next week. Till then, see you. Have a good day. So I thought uh, I need to um, tell you something more. Okay. Like how detail you need to study this one and this one. So 16 bit micro series 8086 and 8 bit is 8085. Okay. So. Oops. So yeah, to get the idea, uh, I will recommend or you to watch this video. Uh, yeah, this video, this video. Although this won't come in exam, but it will help you to understand a few things. And then type of register, like I just like the way or uh, gate master sir explains and makes it very obvious and relatable. So for the Hindi viewers, yeah, you just uh, watch till here. Although 8085 question won't be asking in exam, as I've already discussed, only the difference of 8085 and 8086 is important. And uh, the difference is important because there are there were some limitation in 8085 due to which we uh, came to newer version 8086 and about which the whole uh, next module is right. So basically you need to prepare those three question only, but yeah, I will recommend if you're in the viewer, you just watch this video so you will get a we are understanding and like feel what is microprocessor from its measure and for other like English peers, uh, they can uh, they can use this playlist or this playlist to get the feel. Okay, and here, uh, as I said, it's a five. You don't have to study though in detail. Okay. Mm. Oh, 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 sorry. Is is eight six? Um, eight six. Yeah. So um, to get an idea, like um, the, to to know the difference, to write the difference in this thing, like difference between this, you can watch both video, uh, eight zero eight five and eight zero six, and then get the difference, or you can just watch the uh, you know. Directly, directly, or uh, start the 806, get the pins. So, so that will be uh, helping you out to understand 8085 and the delimitation. So, either way, you have to, you know, go back and forth and get the thing, like get the understanding so that you can write in your exam and get the basic understanding of processor and all those stuff also. So, so the difference looks like this. Like microprocessor, microcontroller. Uh, okay, now this difference I'm talking about. I'm talking about how much to study about 8085. Is uh, you have to study this much only. Like uh, like size, it was 8 bit, it was 16 bit, and all all those things only. This difference points. Okay. Okay. Uh, as I said, I am uh, for multiple resources. So this screenshots are from another video, which I uh, don't recommend you to watch because. Uh, uh, what I could understand is that the 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 teacher which is teaching this is just repeating the stuff which she is writing. So you can just refer this notes of mine. Okay. So uh, in a in a concise manner, I got this thing from another video. So these are the six fourteen. Yeah, fourteen or uh, differences you can which you can write in your exam. So this is more concise one. And yeah, so as if I, we just need to uh, understand that thing. So uh, I can show you my notes too. How much depth you need to know as if I. So it's just the features of eight zero eight five and its limitation. So basic limitation was it couldn't do multiplication, division, and all those stuff. So that is why uh, and 
and this is another thing which we will get to know when university and it was slow slow so we gave we have dropped a better one it's your six and which will which will study okay there is a as i said those things question only will come so basically this is uh so you can say more cat one or model one question okay advantage of eight zero six basically that is the limitation of eight zero five which you can also write in difference and all those questions are interjected okay so yeah I get to so when I studied, I studied eight zero five and eight zero six a little bit, and then I get to know the differences and uh, why I why it is very logical to uh, study very little eight zero five because they won't ask an exam. They, they just want you to study eight zero five just to know the limitation of eight zero eight six eight zero eight five, which always lead you to uh, study eight zero eight six. You can understand it. They just want you to study eight zero five. 8085 to know its limitations of this processor and why we move move to 8086. Okay. So um, for module one, that's so see you in next week.